Like, what was your moment at the bar? It was a conversation that I had with my now wife. Okay. And she saw it. She saw it straight away. She could tell that I was hurting and that some of the stuff that was out of my control was making me really angry. Uh huh. Um, and it would make my blood boil. Well, Whether you're a redhead, so I know, I know you've got exactly. a hell of a temper. <laughs> you have that yeah. fire. No, it's not a temper. It's the fire. Uh -huh. I've never screamed. I've never shouted. I've never, like for me, the best way of letting out any aggression is through boxing. Uh huh. Mm. But for me, prior to meeting Megan, it was very much a case of, certainly connected to the media, that anger and frustration of this is so unjust. Not, by the way, not just about me, but about all this stuff that yeah, I was yeah. seeing. The level of powerlessness you must feel. Helplessness. Yeah. That's my biggest sort of Achilles heel. The three major times that I felt completely helpless. One, when I was a kid in the back of the car with my mum being chased by paparazzi. Two was in Afghanistan in an Apache helicopter. And then the third one was with my wife. And those are the moments in my life where, yeah, feeling helpless hurts. It really hurts. Yeah. And that's when you think to yourself, shit, like... I got the privilege, I've got the platform, I've got the influence, and even I can't fix this. Yeah. I can't change this. And when you start getting in your head about it, that's when it starts sort of taking a toll. Well, but you probably get self-critical as well, like, I would imagine. Massively self-critical. Yeah, if it were me, it'd be like, what the fuck? I have all the weapons, and here I am still can't alter the course of this at all. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is the course is being altered now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And look, everything is supply and demand. And in today's world, the way that... Hate has become so profitable. The system is set up so that whether you're for it or against it, you're still contributing to it. And I think it's really hard for people to understand, which is like, you see something hateful about someone or something, you then end up sharing it, saying, oh, look what they've done now. Look what, the, look what so-and-so said. But by sharing it, you're fueling the fire. So the yeah, best yeah. thing to do is to be able to be aware enough to go, I reject this. I'm going to push this out of my life. I'm not going to share it with somebody else. Why the hell would I share something that I hate with somebody else? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. share the good stuff. Yeah. And then collectively we can flip the whole, yeah. the whole thing. And then suddenly compassion, love, and empathy becomes the driving force rather than hate. Yeah.